Today you enter as individuals, but you will leave here as husband and wife. Your lives blending together and expanding the lives of your family and best friends. You are embarking upon a great adventure through which all of you know, all of us know, that you will prevail. Caitlin and Eric present themselves to be married today, cheerfully surrounded by the people they love the most. They and I want to thank you for your presence here today. They ask for your encouragement and lifelong support in the decisions to be married. The bride and groom would also like a special thanks to their families who have loved and supported them every step of the way. A dear friend of the bride and groom, Alexa, will join us now to read Friendship by Judy Balecki. It is often said that it is love that makes the world go round. However, without doubt, it is friendship which keeps our spinning existence on an even keel. True friendship provides so many of the essentials for a happy life. It is the foundation on which to build an enduring relationship. It is the mortar which bonds us together in harmony. And it is the calm, warm protection we sometimes need when the world outside seems cold and chaotic. True friendship holds a mirror to our foibles and failings without destroying our sense of worthiness. True friendship nurtures our hopes, supports us in our disappointments, and encourages us to grow to our best potential. Caitlin and Eric came together as friends. Today, they pledge to each other not only their love, but also the strength, warmth, and most importantly, the fun of true friendship. Eric will now read his vows to Caitlin. Caitlin, Eric. My life, my muse, my best friend, my inspiration. Since the day I met you in mine and Chris's dorm room, I have been smitten with you. I remember bursting through the door, not a smile on my face. I wanted to embarrass Chris in front of his new friends and be that weird freshman roommate. Uh, and the grooves quickly fell off. Since that day, I have introduced you to many movies, TV shows. We spend hours of our days off marathon to office and parks and recreation. Not a day goes by, not a single day, that you are not part of my life. I vow to love you and always be by your side. I vow to cherish and be your best friend, no matter what happens. I promise to take care of you and prioritize your needs when you really need. I vow not to get up, caught up in petty arguments. Even if I'm usually right as to what actor is on screen when we're watching a movie. <laughs> I also vow not to force you to watch any scary movies, even if the acting is very good. <laughs> From now until the end of time, you must know you if you wish to be body and soul. And I love you. Kayla will now read her vows to Eric. Such a 
enjoy, to get to know you, and to grow with you. I am so excited to start this next chapter of our adventure together. I see vows not as promises, but as privileges. I get to laugh with you and cry with you. I get to have you be the person I spend the rest of my life with. I get to be there for you and support you. It's, it's not that I have to honor and cherish you, but that I get to. I promise to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are, as well as the man who wants to become. I promise to always strive to meet your needs, not out of obligation, but because it makes me truly happy to see that you are. I promise to be there for you when you need me, whenever you need me, wherever you need me. I promise to nurture your goals and ambitions, to support you through misfortune and celebrate your triumphs. I promise to persevere when times get tough, knowing that any challenge we might face, we will conquer together. Eric Dan, I promise to love you today and tomorrow and forever my whole heart, with every fiber of my being. I love you. Ready to make this official. That's in the script. <laughs> also, it says ad lib if you want. <laughs> These two wonderful people asked if I would officiate this wedding. In a man's life, we're lucky if there's just a few moments that we can look back on and say, wow, that was special. You have given me that gift. Will the best man and maid of honor present the rings?